get it out of the way. What's the fastest pitch you've ever thrown? Uh, one on one. It was against, I think, Lafayette. So that's so far the PR, but we'll see if I got more. Uh, one on one seems to be kind of my top right now, but we keep trying to get higher. But as long as I keep throwing strikes, and that's all that I care about. So you hit, you hit your PR in the game. Yeah. That's usually like the other way around. Yeah. Just what was, I guess, kind of going through your head when you're on the mound against Lafayette? Then? I mean, I'm just out there just trying to throw strikes, I guess. I guess my body felt really good that day. It allowed me to throw harder than I usually do. Uh, I never expected to hit 100 this early in the year. I mean, if it went a break, I think my PR was 99 in the bullpen. So I kind of just figured uh, as soon as it kept building up, I didn't expect to hit 100 in the second week of the season. But, you know, just uh, when did you uh, find out that you threw at 101? Is that after the game, or did you have to go into the radar again? Well, I kind of figured when everybody started cheering, I <laughs> that I hit 100, but... I mean, if I keep throwing strikes, that's all I care about. I mean, if it's 100, if it's 97, I don't really care as long as it plays. Well, I've talked a lot about potentially building you up as a starter. You just talked about you know, building your own strength up. Just how do you feel right now compared to, I guess, where you'd like to be? Yeah, I mean, it'll be definitely be like a slow increase of like any pitch. So it'll probably be start off with like a lot of relief. Mm -hmm. uh, if they want me to be a starter, I'll do my best to be a starter. Um, I just started all last year at Menlo, so I'm comfortable with doing it. Just got to slowly work my arm back up, just do it at a healthy pace. And if that's what I'm going to do, I'll do it. What was the recruitment process like leaving Menlo and, and coming here? Yeah, so I talked to a few schools. Uh, Oregon was definitely the number one choice just because of the trimester thing. I was able to graduate on time. So Oregon was always number one. Uh, coming in, I'd be like the 80% rule. And uh, all the schools I talked to did semesters, and they said I'd have to do like summer classes, like extra summer classes. It just seemed like too much. Oregon was just like the perfect fit being able to graduate in the spring term. So education is super important to you. What, what do you study? Uh, GSS with applied economics. What's it been like working with Hawks for so oh, far? I love Hawk. I mean, he's the best pitch coach I've ever had. Uh, Menlo, we didn't really have a pitching coach. Juco was kind of like do it on your own. And just having Hawk there for me, he's helped me a lot with the mental approach to pitching. Uh, that was probably my biggest weakness was like mental stability and all that stuff. So him being really big on mental approach really helped me a lot. What you a couple? A couple of pitchers talk about the mental approach of yeah. It's just what is everybody's going to be different. So I guess kind of yeah. what, what's yours? Uh, you talk with I think the thing that stuck with me the most was he had a saying: uh, baseball is the only sport when you're on defense, you have the ball. So you got to think of when you have the ball, you're actually on offense. So just being able to go up there and attack and think you're on offense instead of defense. What's it like having GK Park as your home park as far as dimensions wise? The feel of it? Uh, it's definitely kind of a hitter's park, but as long. We got a good defense, so I'm pretty comfortable every time the ball's in play. That plays to be made. So this is this is probably a let off the interview with this question. This is the first time we got to talk to you yeah, that's coming to work. It's just it's interesting that a guy who's your size throws the ball as hard as you do, like you know, goes to Menlo, like two call Menlo. Like what's what's kinda what's kinda the background? What's the, what's your story like? Yeah, so I wasn't really I was mainly a first baseman growing up. Uh went to JUCO as a two way. Uh, mainly mainly played first there. Uh, in the spring. The, Coach, he's like, you want to hop on the mound real quick? I did. I was like 85, 87, nothing special. And so I just kind of met my roommate at JUCO. His name was Evan. He actually went to Menlo with me too. And he just loved like throwing hard. That was his passion. So I kind of just like hung out with him all the time and just slowly just kind of developed into pitching. Just fell in love with it and uh, found my remote trainer. His name is Ben Baggett. I started working with him about two years ago and he just kind of changed my life around. He Help me lose weight, put on muscle, and ever since then I've seen like a two mile per hour increase every year working with him. So he's been the big success in the pitching for me. What's been the biggest? I, when was like the biggest moment we realized like I could I could do this pitching stuff? Uh, it was probably I would say it was my first summer league. It was called the Grant Park Summer League. It's no, no longer a league anymore, but it was kind of the year after COVID. It was like one of the only leagues around that was still like running. So I chose that league, and my Head coach there, he was the coach at Dayton University, Dayton University, and he told me he said, "I, yeah, I got potential to be a pitcher." And he he used me a lot in the spring and that summer to get my confidence up, and that's when I ended up coming to Menlo. Uh, I didn't really have that many offers. I had a couple of, like mid majors, a couple of walk on spots, but Menlo gave me a pretty good scholarship, so I couldn't turn that down. And so that was kind of just a big confidence boost when Menlo gave that offer out. And so, the Menlo offer was just a pitcher, right? Yeah. So you've really only been pitching for as your focus for what three, four yeah. years now. Yeah. Do you, some of the guys in the in the pen or in the pitching room uh, who've been EOs since they're like freshmen in high school ever ever razzy about it? Uh, not really. I mean, they kind of joke about it that I'm just gifted with my size. I 
I mean, I am at the same time, but they also, you got to work to, I'm not, you just don't come out throwing hard. So I always tell them there's people smaller than me throwing harder than me. So you just, everybody's got to keep working to get where they want to be. You've got the basketball that plays, you also have the breaking ball too, the kids last game misses and a lot of break to it. How is that development going on that pitch? And how did you go about controlling that command well where you can locate it and then also get a lot of swings and misses to play off of the yeah, I'm still working on my slider. Actually, I want to. I want to throw it harder. Uh, I feel like it's kind of too easy to pick up right now. When as a hitter, I get 20 mile per hour difference. Isn't what isn't what I want to be. That's why my changeup's been my go-to right now. It's like upper 80s. So that's been my strikeout pitch so far. Uh, if I can figure out my slider, the command to throw it harder, that's what I'm going to keep trying to do. Uh, but right now, I'm just trying to throw it down the middle of the slider and just let my fastball work off that. Nickname Big Country is that an Oregon nickname, or uh, did you bring it in to people? Uh, that's what that's what Waz called me like my first day here. I guess he it's my time in Indiana. Me from Indiana, he called me Big Country, even though I'm from the city. But you know, it makes I'll let, let it work. <laughs> How's finals week going for you? Uh, pretty good. I'm I just finished last night, oh, so nice. doing pretty good right now. Do you throw either sinker fastball or are you just straight four? I straight four seam, but I do have some natural runs sometimes when I throw like on the inside or right here outside. But I'm trying to get more ride. And the, the change of the circle or you just... Yeah, it's a four seam circle. So everything's off the four seam for me. Have you, what's that development? I know you kind of went through that because I have to Brian's question, but that kind of the, the development of those off speeds with pop. Like, yeah. how has that been and what has he been trying to uh, hone in on for you? Yeah, he basically just, Pac just told me that I can't baby anything. Uh, basically, he's got to trust every pitch you throw. And the uh, changeup, I think I threw one for a strike off ball, and uh, I haven't thrown, I think I've thrown one for a ball this spring. It was just kind of that mental game, just throwing it and just letting it work and trusting yourself. How much how much faith do you have in that pitch now? Because I think you, the first one you threw is against Grand Canyon, or at least the one that I remember. Yeah. But I was at now because you use that a bunch against uh, now here this last weekend. Yeah, I mean, every time he calls it now, I kind of get excited because it's, it's worked for me so well so far. So I just have a stream, I have a lot of confidence in that pitch right now.